strange. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be playing Life is Strange Part 10. I hope you like, you subscribe, and enjoy, and let's get into it. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody. So this is just a recap from last episode. No. Or the last past episode. Like all teenagers. The way it ended yesterday, oh, that was crazy. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Oh, Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. We found out that Rachel, Rachel is dead. Rachel, which was I'm crazy. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. This is how I left. Oh. Man, Jake oh. in my ass. Chloe. How? What the fuck? And he shot her ass, which was crazy. And it was Mr. Jefferson. The photographer teacher. That was, that was like quite a twist. You feel me? That shit is mad, bro. So it wasn't Nathan or is Nathan working with him? Who knows? We're gonna find out today. And I wonder if we can rewind time or it's just gonna be like that. This is gonna be a crazy episode. We're close to the ending of this game. Which I don't want to be, but it is what it is. Why is it so quiet? I think we in a room with cameras. It's really disturbing. And lights and all white and we're tied up down. That's crazy. Well, the way it's quiet, bro, it's so weird. You got me locked up for Home. Christmas. What? Where? It's a dark room. Oh, well, this is the bunker. Got me tied up and shit. Is anybody out there? Please help! Damn. Who could have thought it was gonna be that teacher? Help! Somebody help me! God, I don't remember anything that happened. Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. Nice. Oh, finally, I'm free. Almost. God, 
I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. For real, for real. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Oh, we're gonna focus. Holy shit. Why would it look like that? That makes you so scary, bro. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. He's crazy. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! What the fuck? Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. Hmm. But I love teacher. the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Creepy ass teacher. Don't move! Oh. Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. Oh, shit. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Damn, how many pictures do you need? Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. Oh, no. No. Oh. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Oh, I should have injected me again. Creepy ass bastard, bro. I swear, bro. Yeah.
can't believe that happened. So sick. <sighs> okay. I broke those vials when I kicked the trolley. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Okay. This might work. Please work. Why is he so innocent? She looked bad in that picture, I mean, okay. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now and don't get me started on your late partner i had enough of those faux punk sluts in my seattle days You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. Yeah. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Damn. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. That was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. 
but no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. What? After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Oh, For shit. Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my mommies to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Okay, we gotta find a way out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh, now this one. This is purity personified. Now, I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. How the hell we get off? Oh, now this one. I have this all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Now, let's see how- Wait! Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Damn. At least we got the selfie there. Maybe we can go back in inside the photo. <clears throat> oh my god. I can go all the way back to the moment this all started. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything for good. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. Oh, I don't I'm back. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Kate, is there? Oh, Sorry. Shit. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <sighs> the 
The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> okay, then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change time. Winter to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. Who the fuck I is should David? be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. Oh, David. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Ooh, I like this. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, Damn, I don't know what to say. That's okay. We got mad when she, she Maybe jumped we could both in. use a hug. <clears throat> Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. I'm out this bitch. I can't go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. What are we doing here then? Tablet use. This fancy camera does not give you any extra talent, Victoria. Or excuses. You will not hurt Kate Marsh this time. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Oh, Victoria. We could have been friends. This Can fancy camera does not give you any extra talent, Victoria. Or excuses. You will not hurt Kate Marsh this time. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see you're kissing ass again. Nothing new. What did you just oh. say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? <laughs> Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't. Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. OK, Ooh. I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? Well, it looks like you already did think. <laughs> then I guess I'm 
Done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Ooh. I'm loving this game already, bro. Okay, is Kate all good? Is Kate good? Please tell me Kate is good. Okay, Chloe is, is doing just fine for herself. Cops are eating breakfast. Why the fuck do I care? Oh, the cops bust down the bunker. Hell yeah. Okay, what about Kate? Oh, Jefferson went to... Oh, Kate is still alive and Jefferson went to prison. Did she jump? Please tell me she didn't. They found, they found Rachel. Chloe's crying. And I won the photograph thingy. Which is cool. Oh, that picture go hard. I got cap. I guess Chloe's still... Living. We got a new drip. About time. Okay, we we literally changed time and Whoa. made it perfect. I think we're in a flight. Back West Airlines. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to Hot totally play the video game and watch him all the time <laughs> when we were innocent. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Your phone, sir. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Frisco, so please don't. <laughs> the beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. That's crazy. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. 
We hope you enjoyed your trip, and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. <laughs> How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. <laughs> we are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. This is crazy, bro. I guess we had a happy ending. I don't care, she looked bad. San Francisco Gallery. Nice. Wine and shit. Champagne. San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. Mm -hmm. If the event skimps <laughs> on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Hmm. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. <laughs> I better get in there and start schmoozing. <laughs> you know, I, I like won't always principle. be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. It just looks like Jefferson or Wowzer, Max. You did it. Somehow. I would there I am. Along with all the other winners. Max. I should say artists instead. Looking all professional and shit. Oh, that picture goes far. How did these galleries afford to rent here? God, I love art. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Whatever, man. Oh, the school that she's getting recognized. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Sorry, I don't know your name, 
But I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. <laughs> that picture will be gone. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Oh, shit. Why do we keep getting these flashbacks? Or something that didn't happen. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Did she just say I lag? Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe! Stuck. Can you hear me? Of course this game hasn't Hello? ended. Fuck. Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Shit. We're gonna go look at the photograph and, and go back in time. Fuck. Holy shit. This makes me feel so sad. Exposure. Like I was no fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Gee, I knew it. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... Damn. That picture took me going hard. with time here what is going on now it feels like reality is breaking apart what am I doing to time I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco simple sorry San Francisco Chloe comes first Damn. So that didn't happen. What the fuck? This is just mad. Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Eat shit and die. <laughs> Good. 
Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Damn. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. This final dose won't hurt. What? Holy shit, who's here? David! Oh, David, gonna no. save the world. No, David! Oh, no. never mind. Jesus! <laughs> No more nosebleed. Wait, hold on. Can I, can I please ask you for one last request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Damn. Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I, I want to be your best subject. <laughs> I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. Uh, David got his shit rocked. This final dose won't hurt. So we would just go back in time again? Miss you. No more nosebleed. Wait, hold on. Can I can I please ask you for one last request? Oh. You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? And would you mind turning off the lights? They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer. Hmm. And I don't want your last memory to be bad lighting.
I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Oh, shit. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Get the camera next to you! No nice. gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Okay, buddy. Going to stop me. Grab your gun now. Got it. Okay. It's not. It's over. Grab your gun now. Got it. Okay, buddy. It's Grab over. That bottle. Why are you standing there? It's over. You are not going to stop me. Nice about fucking time. Ooh. You rock this oh, shit. Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you alright? See, I told you, you this guy was a yes. good guy. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. <laughs> Ooh, one more for the game. Won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. For real, for real. Shit, my bad, my bad. Good. All this expensive gear just for sick bullshit. Hold on, Max. So, where is Chloe? David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you? Yes, I. I saw her. I. I saw. A Jefferson Keller in the junkyard last night last night when I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe how can I face her and explain this I never even told Chloe that I, I god damn it You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! Oh shit. David, wait! Damn. Gang shit.
Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, uh, thank you for saving me. He, he really down. Hopefully, we still go to that wearing picture in our phone. Freedom. Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find more. Yes! Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Damn. Brand new. We've got no keys. culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody <laughs> get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, how do I pay all those taxes? <laughs> Sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. <laughs> Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you. 